Now that you know how to install, update, and remove software on Windows, let's do the same for Linux. Let's navigate back to the Git download page. Under the Linux page, you'll actually see many different ways to install Git. This is because the different Linux distributions use different package installers. Since we're using Ubuntu, we're just going to use this command, apt install git. apt is the command we use in Ubuntu's package manager, and the install option will let us install something. Let's go ahead and run this in our terminal. We're getting an error that says permission denied. Like Windows, when we install something on a machine, we need to tell the computer that we're authorized to install software. Right now, we can preface this command with another Linux command, sudo, which stands for superuser do. It asks us for a password, so let's add that in. Ah, we're getting a lot of output. It's just asking if we want to continue installing this application, and since we do, I'm going to say Y and enter. To update a package, you do the exact same thing as we just did and install a newer software version. To remove a package, we could also use a command pretty similar to the install command, except this time we want to remove a package. This asks us if we want to continue with these changes. Let's go ahead and type Y and enter. That's it. Now you know how to install, update, and remove software on Linux and Windows. Nice work.